I tell you what, he was terrific. Uh, the only thing he needs to worry about is in the middle of the year, if we go on a you know, two, three game losing streak and all of a sudden I'm getting on the team and I'm putting video up there and critiquing the team, that dancing, those dancing moves he put up tonight, they might show up on the on the tape somehow, some way, and I want to make sure the entire team rates his dancing moves. Thanks a lot, Mike. Carolyn, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks, Thank Lisa. Guys. Mike Brown, great year with the Cavs this year. Round number two here, Joel Julio, 31-1 and one in the green trunks. K-9, Cornelius Brundridge, star of the contender season two. You know, I've been talking about all the advantages Julio has in this fight, and they are many. Let's mention maybe the one, the only one that Brundridge has. He's a bigger man, turned pro 154, been as big as 164. Julio, who's only 22, still filling out, turned pro junior welterweight, moved up to welterweight, and then his last three fights only went up to 152 pounds. He's 151 and a half tonight. K-9 trying to pop that left hand off the hip. Julio patiently stalking. Julio more consistent offensively, busier and faster with his hands. Hundreds needs a knockout, I'll say it now, or at least big damage to grab this fight. I don't think he's doing it by decision. Now with what we're seeing in front of us here with the uh, pace and form that this fight is taking on early stop, on, stop. you've talked about the overall skill level and the options of Joel Julio being superior. Just missed with the right hand behind the jab. Places the right hand to the body, does Julio. There's a right hand from K-9. Comes back and scores with the left. And you see the hindrance that Bunges gives himself with the left hand. He keeps it down around his waist, as you see right there. Now, not only is there a vulnerability defensively to right hands, but offensively there is a problem. He must get that hand up to get it out. And that's a warning and time that Julio can use to beat him to the mark or to defensively maneuver out of the way. I should give credit to Bunge for doing a better job this round. Of taking care of some of those dead spots on the outside, even if he's using his left hand while it's low, at least he's using it. Talk about Joel Julio being well-rounded offensively. Lisa Salter is standing by with a sports star who's very well-rounded.